Hey, Mark, take a seat. Mark sat down at the desk, across from HR. With hands crossed, she said, Mark, look, uh, I'll be frank with you. We've gotten some complaints about your derogatory comments. You have got to be kidding me. Mark, I'm going to have to ask you to watch your tone. May I remind you that everything you say here is on the record? For Christ, is this about Alan? Mark, that doesn't matter. Come on. Mark, it's been brought to my attention that you've used terminology that's inappropriate. Zombie, are you kidding me? When I grew up, we called them zombies all the time. There's nothing wrong with... Mark, we don't use that term anymore. Did you see what he was doing in the break room? He was eating Paul in accounting. Mark, remember the sensitivity training? We can't comment on what other cultures eat. He's a zombie! Mark, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm very uncomfortable when you use that word. Can you please use more necro-friendly terminology, like undead or person experiencing undeath? This is insanity. He's killed three employees since I've been here. He's entitled to his culture, Mark. We've been through this, and I'm going to have to ask you to lower your tone. Mark suddenly hears a knock at the door. Please, come in. A zombie walks in. As he opens the door, his arm stays attached to the doorknob. No problem, that's covered by insurance. Please, take a seat. As the zombie tried to sit, his torso and everything else waist up fell to the floor. With one hand on the arm of the chair, he dragged himself to a sitting position and grunted. Mark looked at him and said nothing. Do you have something to say, Mark? <sighs> I'm sorry if I offended you. That was never my intention. I hope to be part of an inclusive work. At that moment, the zombie leapt from his chair and began gnawing on HR's neck. Mark leapt out of his seat. Oh fuck, what do I do? Nothing! Don't insult his culture! 